Hey, Tubies, this is Psychic Bob. It is so awesome to be back with you. Well, here we are. We made it to the weekend. It's been a long, crazy week. A good week, but a little hectic. And uh, here we are. It's Saturday. I want to say thank you to all the, the people who have been coming out to the videos. You guys have been putting wonderful comments, a lot of nice letters, support. You guys are great. And I want to say thank you. You know, yesterday we had our video um, where I got to interview Gracie Hawkins, and she is the author of Layla the Pleiadian. If you haven't seen that, check that out. It's the video right before this. We had such a fun time, and her book is a real treat. And uh, I encourage you to definitely head over to Amazon and check it out. Uh, you know, well, here we are. It's Saturday, and Saturday is our night for Saturday night seance and we have a lot of new people here so for the new people who don't know what this is about uh, every week we gather here at Spirit Channel and we hold an old style spiritualist seance. I come out of a spiritualist church background and uh, this is a tradition. Usually on the weekends we gather at somebody's home and we'd sit in a circle and the mediums would go into trance and channel for us. It was always fascinating, always interesting. Never knew what was going to happen. But uh, I thought, uh, you know, I wanted to revive that because there are a lot of people out there who, um, some of you have been to seances and you remember this. This is kind of an old spiritualist tradition. And for those of you who are new to this, this is something that uh, you haven't probably experienced. And I wanted to bring you guys the experience of an old style spiritualist gathering. So uh, I'm going to settle down. I'm going to go into trance tonight and we're going to see what the spirit world has for you. OK, so uh, just sit here, gather your chairs around. Welcome to my virtual living room and uh, we're going to have a seance. Anyways, so I'm going to settle down. I'll see you when I get back. Oh, this is Fletcher here. I think we made it into the body successfully. Oh, it's so wonderful to be back with all of y'all. It's been a little while since I've had a chance to come here and say hello to all of you. Well, our medium's vibration is very strong tonight, and so I think we can come on through with a little bit of clarity. Well, I've got somebody back here. She's just pacing back and forth. Can't wait to come through. She said she's missed all of you. So I'm going to step from the body and let her introduce herself to you. We'll talk to you in just a little while. Greetings, my dears. This is Rose. Such a blessing to be here with all of you tonight. So many of you are making splendid progress in your spiritual lives. From our world, we look upon the earth and we see the spirit glow. Over here, it brings us much joy to see when others are making progress. Some of you today are feeling a bit discouraged. You're saying, Rose, I try to meditate every day. I try to pray every day and I feel abandoned by God. My dears, do not give in to this despair. In the earthly life, there are many challenges. You know, when I was alive on the earth, my challenge was also to have faith. You know, I did go to the Church of England, but I very rarely, if I must be honest, I very rarely picked up spiritual wisdom because I rejected it all. When one does not live one's life with reflection, it's very difficult to have faith. Now, I know that there are many of you who say, but Rose, I have great faith in the spirit world. I have faith in God. I have faith in the goddess. My dear, all of these divine realities are present here. And do not think that because you have not yet sensed the presence that they are not real. And do not think that you are not going to receive assistance. In the human life, there are many filters for us to cross through in order to come to you. The earth vibration, unfortunately, is very dense. 
Because many humans have chosen to reject the light and they have chosen to abandon spiritual principles, it has created a magnetic sphere of negativity and darkness that overtake all of the planet. For us on our side, we have to work through that vibration in order to come through to you. And so we ask for your patience. We too have our limitations here in spirit. Though one of the things I should like to impress upon your minds tonight is that all things are done through harmony in vibration. And what this means is that if you spend your energy focusing on your spiritual life, eventually you will raise your vibration in such a way is that it will be much easier for us to make contact with you. For those of you who feel abandoned, who feel that there is no hope, and think that God has forgotten you, let me remind you that I come here this night myself to remind you that there is a spiritual world. If God feels far away to you, might I suggest you reach a little closer. Call upon me, if you will or call upon a beloved relative in spirit. You see, those who love you are not far away from you. They're very, very close. It is the fact that humankind oftentimes cannot sense the vibration simply because of many factors. Sometimes it is fear. Sometimes it is the negativity of others. And sometimes your own doubt will slow down your progress. Be gentle with yourselves, my dears. You know, when I first arrived in the spirit world, I was filled with guilt, for I understood how many times I had rejected God's light in my life. But you know, the spirits here all said to me, Rose, that's all done in the past. You cannot change it. But what you can do, dear Rose, is open your heart now to receive light. Each of you listening to my voice tonight have the ability to receive light into your heart. It's true that while it may be difficult for us to get through in a clear coded message to you or an apparition as many of you have requested, we can at least open that chamber to let some spiritual light in. And so start with the light. Visualize inside of your heart a little light floating inside of you. This light is your spirit spark. It is your connection. It is really your doorway to our world. And if you let that light lead you, then you will have blessing and power and you will have access to our world. Some of you out here this evening are saying, but Rose, I've asked, I've looked, I see no light. I'm at the end of my rope. Perhaps it is the end of my life. My dears, do not think that. It is not for you to decide when to leave the earth. It is our agenda here that arranges for your departure. For those who try to leave the earth early will find themselves met by us with great disapproval and though great love, but we will not let you come to our well. You will be sent back. If you try to cross into the spirit well prematurely, you will find yourself turned back to your body. Should your body be in such a state of destruction that you can no longer return to it, you will be asked to go to the place of waiting. It is the void. It is not a pleasant place. It is in a sense of punishment, a time out, if you will. Do not think that through committing suicide, you will arrange, you'll find yourself in an exalted position in heaven. If you destroy the body against the wishes of the Creator, you will have to wait your time to attain your glory. All souls can be and ultimately will be in the light. But that light and that timing is up to higher powers than yourself. You have entered into the earth with mission. Many of you have forgotten your missions. You have said, why am I here, Rose? What is my purpose? It would be better were I to leave and go to the spirit world. But if your heart is still beating, you're meant to be upon the earth. So do not, my dears, 
doubts that you have work to do. Each of you are called, called by the spirit world. You're being called to love. If you say, but Rose, I have no mission in my life. I have no one. No one cares if I live or die. Well, I can assure you, my dears, that I'm watching and I do care. Fletcher cares and all of the angels over here care. So if you have no earthly friends, make friends with us in spirit. We'll be true allies to you. And if you want to have a purpose in your life, then ask for us to open the doors to your purpose. You'll see many people pray to God and to the angels and saints, and they ask for temporary material blessings. Oh Lord, give me an automobile. Oh Lord, give me $5,000. These things, though they can and oftentimes are granted here, are not your true purpose in life. Your true purpose is to be on earth, to bring light and love to those around you. So if you feel empty and you feel despairing and you say, I have no purpose, then you must ask yourself, have I loved today? Have I given love to someone? Now, it does not matter if they accept it. You may say, well, Rose, I've given love to everybody and they've rejected me. You have not failed. Continue. For there are those who need the very light and love that you will bring. You don't have to go preaching and acting all holy. You simply have to be there. Simply be the silent presence that visits them in the hospital. Be the presence that sits with them when they're alone and grieving. Be the presence of the angels. Be the voice of wisdom. Be the very voice of God. If you tell someone, you are loved, I love you, and God loves you too. Then you will be doing the work of spirit. If you do not believe me, I challenge you to try this. Find somebody who needs some help, whatever way it could be. It may be an elderly neighbour who sits in their home all day. It might be a disabled person. It might be a homeless person. Find someone who needs love. And you'll be the very presence of God. You'll be their angel. It's good and well to pray for others. But it's even better to be the hands that bring the relief to others. And if you give that love to others, our world will enable you to do it. You may not always be loved and appreciated. But inside you will know you have served as you are called to serve. And you will find joy and peace in that experience. So today I encourage each of you, live in love, be love. Love is a verb, it's not just an adjective, it's not just a noun, it's an action. It's an action. If you take action, then you will have joy in your lives. Many people say they are depressed, but when I look upon them, I see that the depression is created from inactivity. If you're feeling depressed, the best thing to do is get out and do something. Give love to another. Find somebody who is also depressed and make their day a little more joyful. Perhaps you could bring them an ice cream cone and that would certainly brighten their day. Maybe it's just simply visiting and saying, I know how you feel. I've struggled with this myself. You know, my neighbour Madge was always so kind to me. Sometimes I would be in such a fit, you know, I'd be all worried because I'd think, oh, I have some important person coming to the house and I'm not sure what to wear. And I used to say, Madge, you don't know the problems that I have. I have to be dressed appropriately. I receive people of many levels and there's always a protocol. You do not know the pressures. You're not as much of a person in the public eye. And she said, oh, Rose, you're very right, my dear. I don't understand that. But I do know one thing. And I said, what is it, my dear? She said, those who come to your home, what they really want is not to see all the gold and crystal and china. What they really want is to feel welcomed. And I really thought about that. And I said, my dear, you're on to something. She said, Rose, if you just tell people that they're welcome and that you're glad that at your home, that will impress them far more than the finest food and the finest china. 
And so I made it a practice. Everybody would come through my door. I'd say, I'm so very truly thankful that you're here. And I do hope that you will feel welcome. And I want you to relax and have peace while you're at my home. And you will know what happened. I had so many people leave and they were always smiling. And I used to invite people over and sometimes I'd make a social gaffe. I would have people who were enemies and they would come to dinner. But I made them each feel so peaceful that at the end of the dinner, they'd become friends again. I was a peacemaker. But you see, I owe that to my dear friend Madge because her spiritual knowledge, because she was a devout spiritualist and worked with the spirit well, it brought that knowledge to me and it made it possible. So each of you today, give love to those who approach you. Invite them to your home. Visit them at their home and you'll be the light. And I promise you, you will have joy more than you can imagine. Oh, this is Fletcher here. Give us just a moment. We have to adjust the vibration in the medium's body. All right, there we go. We got the frequency aligned here. Sometimes the electrical current goes a little strange. Rose wants to finish talking to you, so I'll be stepping out of the way. Yeah, my dears. I think I'm in the border. Can you hear me? As I was saying, my dears, Love is the answer. It is the power that will animate you. It will reanimate you. When you feel that your life is over and that you're near the end, let love be the power that brings you back. Love can resurrect any person's life. You do not have to die to have the light of spirit. You only have to have the desire. So I invite all of you today, let light into your hearts. Let the spirit reign and you will have joy more than you can handle. Our medium's power is growing weak, so Fletcher asked me to step from the body. We're so pleased to be here with you. I do hope that each of you in the coming days will find that joy. Call upon me and call upon all of heaven. The angels, the guides and your loved ones want to help you. And I will be here, and I will be able to help you, I think. Well, guys, it's so good to be here with you. And... You know, I'm always blessed when the spirit people come through and they channel through me. It always uplifts me, you know. Sometimes people say, Psyche Bob, doesn't channeling drain you? Actually, no, it invigorates me. And I think it's because, you know, that energy that comes from the other side is so powerful. It just brings life to us, you know. It's like literally touching heaven. So anyways, I'm so glad you're here. Um... Anyways, if you enjoy this uh, tonight and you want to learn more about spiritualism and seances, you might want to pop over to my website at robert-hickman.com. I'll put a link in the info box below. And you might want to pick up this book. This is my book called Messages from Rose. It's by me. There you can see Bob Hickman. And um, this tells about my early days as a medium, my work with my spirit guide, Rose, and how she's become such a part of my life. Um, I think you'll really enjoy it, you know. Uh, it's one of my favorite books. In the back, uh, we have a question and answer session where people write in and answer, you know, Rose answered questions for them. Uh, but it's, it's a fascinating book. It talks about how to do spirit work and gives examples of my life and my history. So I think you'll really enjoy that. So stop over, pick up messages from Rose at my website. Well, listen, guys, I'm so glad you're here. Keep it here. By the way, like this favorite, 
hit subscribe, be part of our channel. And when you get a moment, pop over also to my website at robert-hickman.com. I'll put again the link below and get your free daily horoscopes. Every day I post horoscopes. They're free. You just go over there and you can read them at my website. They are my own creation. I don't take them from any other astrology site. They're unique. They're Psychic Bob's horoscopes, so you won't get them anywhere else. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go to robert Get your free daily horoscopes. Well, keep it here. Tomorrow we'll be back. It's going to be Sunday. And we're going to do something fun and mystical. I haven't decided what yet, but just come on and join us. Maybe we'll do a walk tomorrow. You guys seem to like that. Would you like to go on a walk tomorrow? Maybe we'll go out and we'll do a walk and think about mystical things. All right, guys, listen, keep it here. Hit subscribe. We'll see you back here tomorrow. We're going to go for a walk. I think that's what we'll do. God bless you all. Love you. We'll see you tomorrow.